Judgment is now falling on the house of God. Word given February 6, 2023 by Pamela G. Please take these words to the Lord in prayer and allow Him to examine your hearts. His goodness is extended to the righteous, but His judgments will fall upon the wicked, unrepentant, and unbelieving. Transcript Are you surprised at what I am doing in my household? You should not be. I am a God who never changes, and I am true to my word. What I have spoken will surely come to pass. Judgment begins with the household of God first and foremost. Before I unleash my judgments on the world, is it not fitting, is it not right, that I must judge my own house? As a fair and righteous judge, I must do these things as a testimony to my people and to the world. Are you seeking me? Are you walking in holiness before me? Are you one of my five faithful virgins? Are you a wheat or a tare? Those whom I love I will discipline, says the Lord. If I call you my son, will I not chasten you? What father, when he sees his children in error, will not discipline them because he loves them? Do you expect anything else of me, O house of God? My house is teetering on the fence, and many within my house are quickly falling away from me, as your flesh dominates your thoughts and actions, and the things of the world consume you. Did you think I would sit idly by and do nothing? Some of you I am intentionally plucking off the fence in order that you might fall under my discipline and be saved. Some of you are about to lose your salvation because you continue to reject me and avoid my correction. Many in my own household despise me and my ways and will not submit themselves to my chastening for their own good. Though all discipline for the moment is difficult to bear, it brings about the peaceful fruit of righteousness in your lives if you endure it, so bear up through it until I have completed my work in you. Render your hearts to me and not your sacrifices of your own choosing. Only a humble and contrite spirit before my throne will I recognize. Time is running short for you, O house of God. I am coming soon to retrieve my bride, and so many of you are not worthy to enter my wedding feast. There will be great weeping and gnashing of teeth for those who find themselves standing outside the door of my wedding chamber. If you could only see and understand how much I love you, how much I have given of myself for you, how great is the salvation that I have gifted to you, then you would fall upon your faces to worship me and to seek my face in spirit and in truth. My heart breaks for my beloved, because so many of you are so far from me and my abundant grace and mercy. I am imploring you today to examine your hearts and to humble yourselves in my sight, in order that I might lift you up out of the muck and mire of your lives and embrace you with loving truth, righteousness, and abundance. I long for you as a husband forsaken in spirit, as my servant Hosea demonstrated, Read his book and his words, and you will understand how my heart yearns for you. Salvation and restoration through repentance is the only way that you can make your way back to me to be forgiven. Such travail is coming for you, O oh my church, and if you do not walk with me in 100% faithfulness, you will not be able to endure the things that are coming. I will only shelter those who find me in the secret place of the Most High. Bombs will destroy your cities. Utilities will no longer be working or available. Bombs will destroy your cities. Utilities will no longer be working or available. Transport lines will be shut down. Communications will cease. Chaos will ensue and then darkness will fall over the earth. Three days of darkness and you will be cut off from everything you know and have put your faith in. 
Only I will be your light and your hope of salvation. Fires will burn. Explosions will occur everywhere. The earth will vomit up its iniquities through rock, stone, and violent heat, because I will no longer keep these things hidden. I am sick with grief over the condition of the earth and its peoples. The stench of your sins has reached my nostrils, and I can endure it no longer. Only the righteous living by faith who call me their God will I rescue from these things which are to come. So repent quickly, my children, so that you will not have to endure my wrath. Yes, my judgments are here. Look around you, pay attention, and you will see what I am doing in the lives of individuals and corporately in my churches, ministries, and houses of worship. None of you will escape except for those who are hidden in me through their faith and loving obedience to my son, Yeshua HaMashiach. Do not be surprised when you see your church leaders fall and their sins be exposed or when ministries you have trusted and given my money to are fraught with scandals and legal actions are taken against them. Many people you have chosen to put your faith in will fall because you did not seek my discernment in these matters or examine the fruit of their labors. Heed my words, O my people, for my time of judgment and justice has arrived. Death comes to the wicked and eternal salvation to my righteous ones. And that is the end of this message. Scriptures to go along with this word will be in the comment section. Please remember to take everything that you hear in this word to the Lord Jesus Christ in prayer for any and all needed confirmations. Thank you for listening. God bless you. And as always, Shalom.